Hello. This is the third video on index numbers and we will demonstrate calculation of last pairs and past days index using Microsoft Excel. Let us recall the formula that we need to find out last pairs and past days index. We need total of the price and quantity and then we will need base year quantities for last pairs and current year quantities for past days. Now, to demonstrate use of Excel, I'm going to use the same data that were discussed in previous videos, which were regarding meat, bread and beans that were purchased in the year 1995 and 1996. I plotted this information in Microsoft Excel and also the formula to calculate last pairs and past days index. I have said price in the year 1995 which is the base year P0 quantity in 1995 Q0 similarly price and quantity in 1996, PN and QN respectively. Now we need to calculate P0 and Q0. Similarly, we need P0, QN. Likewise, we will need PN, Q0. And finally, P n multiplied by qn. We'll find all this and then we will add them all together to use for our respective formula. So p0 multiplied by q0 will therefore be p0 multiplied by q0. Similarly, we'll find p0 qn which is 250 multiplied by the 25 here. Likewise, P and Q0, which is 290, multiplied by 20. And finally, we have price and quantity for year 1996 multiplied, which will give us this. Now, Excel has made it easy for us. So, we'll basically copy this to find for other two items, which, is, which are bread and bins. Now, in the end, we will add them all together to find the aggregate weighted price which is going to be this and we will just copy this and we get this now in case of last pairs index what we need is p and q0 total so we need p and q0 total which is here and over p0 q0 so all the time in case of last pairs the denominator will be the same p not q0 which is this and in case of past days it will be p and qn the one in the last column divided by p not qn which is this column here now we also need to multiply them by a hundred so this is going to be the price index using last pairs and this is price index using past days method. So we can put them in order. So this is going to be our year. And this will be say last pairs index. And here we have past days method. And then we will keep the relevant answers that we found. So this is year 1995, say year 0, and 1996, say year 1. And last pairs we found uh, for both last pairs and past days in year 0, the index value is 100. And in year, yen, in year 1, we found last pairs this, and past days we found 114.5189. So this is basically how we should be calculating last pairs and past days 
index using Microsoft Excel. Simple and straightforward. Thank you.